Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. And in today's video, we got a little something different. Um, if you're new to my channel, no, most of my videos are going to be of me going out to thrift stores and picking up items to resell on eBay and Amazon. Um, but today, I bought something that I've been wanting for a really, really long time. This is a 2011 STI Staccato XL. Uh, this was just came out in 2020. Um, if you're not familiar with firearms or handguns, this is this gun is the one that's going to replace the Edge, the STI 2011 Edge that's so popular in competition. So what I want to do in today's video, I want to unbox this for everybody on camera. Um, I just went and picked this up from my gun store like 30 minutes ago. Uh, we did open it, but we didn't take anything out because they had to get the serial number off of it. Um, but I'm super excited to show you all this gun. I'm excited to shoot it. I'm not going to be able to shoot it till tomorrow, and I'm going to capture all that on film. So if you're not subscribed, be sure and go ahead and subscribe so you can see the footage from me actually shooting the gun. I'm going to put several hundred rounds through it. I'm going to run um, hollow points through it because SDI does state that you can run hollow points through it. So just real quick, I, I, I'm not getting paid by anybody to do this video. I just wanted to do it because uh, I'm very interested in guns. I love watching other gun videos. Um, pretty much I bought this with all of my money that I made from reselling items online. Um, was able to pay for it up front, so that is super awesome. Um, I want to explain my buying experience. Again, nobody's paying me to do this video, so I'm just going to give you a 100% honesty when I shoot the gun and everything. Um, I bought this from Dawson Precision. They actually sent me a cool little t-shirt, so thank you, Dawson. Um, I've never bought a gun outside of my state before, and I called STI, and they have a 16-week waiting list for this gun. Um, so I called Dawson Precision, who's also in Texas. They had some in stock. They had gotten a batch from STI. I ordered it from them. And I mean, those. I talked to Daniel from uh, Dawson Precision. First time I've ever dealt with him. Daniel was super nice. He got the gun here super quick. Um, I couldn't be more happy. Uh, really impressed with them. Again, this is a total new experience for me. And Daniel made it seamless. He made it easy. Explained everything to me. The gun's here a couple days later. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unbox it now. And then again, there'll be shooting videos. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm going to continue to update um, my uh, experience with this uh, Staccato XL from STI um, probably it's several times a year. So be sure and subscribe to the channel so you can see that, um, see those updates. Um, also, I am not a professional shooter. I'm just an average Joe. I do like going to the range and shooting. I shoot in some local indoor range little competitions, but they're more just for fun. I am not a great shooter. I would say I'm average. So I'm going. You're about to. If you're watching this video, you're going to get uh, just an unbiased opinion. I have never in my life spent the kind of money that I did on this gun. The retail price on this gun, which is what I got it for, is three thousand three hundred ninety-nine dollars. So. Is it worth $3,399? We'll find out when I go to the range and shoot it. But let's just go ahead and, and look at it. First of all, it comes in this really awesome case here. So it's got a nice little carrying handle on top. Uh, the front bag here, let's see what's in here. Front pocket. Looks like there's gonna be a pretty cool STI sticker. Look, there's some youth handgun safety, handgun safety rules. See what else we got. All right, we got some Allen wrenches. This is probably to adjust the sights. The sights are adjustable. Uh, here is your weapon lock. We got our weapon lock. Uh, here is the where they tested the gun. Hit dead bullseye. Looks like they give you some hopes um, gunnel. See if there's anything, and that's it. That is all that's in that pocket. So let's put this this back in. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff. So let's see what's inside. All right, so the first compartment, it's just some more, some more literature. So the first thing is we have two mags right here and there's also one in the gun. So it comes with three total magazines. Um, let's see what these are. These are 20 round mags. So it looks like you get two 20 round magazines. 
As you can see, both of them are 20 rounds. Uh, STI, their guns are made in Texas, so definitely very happy to support that. And here we go. Here she is. The brand new for 2020 STI Staccato XL. So let's take it out. As you can see, it's still got the safety uh, uh, plastic thing in there. So I, I haven't done anything with it. So let's take it out and take a look at it. Let's see if this thing feels like $4,000 in my hand. Not quite $4,000, but oh wow. Yeah, this, thing's, this thing is beautiful. See all the cuts. We'll go over some of the things. I actually talked to STI. They gave me some um, some good pointers to point out on this gun, and we'll go over that here in just a second. So, as you can tell, it does have a magazine in now. It appears to be this is a flush. So I think this is an 18 rounder. Let's go ahead and eject that and confirm that. Actually, this is a 17 round. So you get a 17 round that fits flush, and then you get two 20 rounds. So that's that's pretty good. All right, we'll set this right here. Let's go ahead and, oh wow. Man, that side slide is super smooth. Uh, that was one thing that I did read, that their slides are super, super smooth and easy to pull back. This gun is beautiful. You got the American flag right there on the side. I mean, this is an absolute gorgeous gun. And as you can see, it is safety check. There's, there's nothing in the chamber, no magazine in the well. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit about it. First of all, let's do the slide again. I mean, watch this. I mean, I know you can't really see that on camera, but that is super easy to rack. That's awesome. Um, so let's let's talk about a few things uh, about the gun that STI gave me some pointers about. So uh, just some basics about this gun. This is a 5.4 inch bull barrel. There's your barrel there. Uh, 5.4 inches, if you know anything about the STI Edge, which uh, again, this is what STI is saying that this is the replacement for. Uh, this, this gun is 0.4 inches longer, so you should have a little bit more accuracy out of this gun. Let me kind of move this out of the way and lay it down here for a minute. Um, also, you have the, the finish is a diamond light carbon black. So it's not blued like the um, like the STI Edge was. So you have this diamond light carpet black that is new to this gun. It is supposed to be a little bit lighter and thinner, yet it's supposed to be a whole lot more durable than the bluing is. So it's another advantage to this one. Um, the trigger is a 2.5 pound trigger pull. Um, we've not pulled the trigger yet, so let's try that. Wow, I, I barely even, <laughs> barely even touched it. So let's try that again. As you can see. I mean, I'm barely even touching the trigger and it's, and it's engaging. That is awesome. Let's do it one more time. This is too much fun. Let's see if I can give you a different angle. Wow. So 2.5 pound trigger. Um, I know my Glocks tend to have like a five or uh, 5.5, so half the trigger pull of that, if not less. Uh, your front sights are from Dawson. They're Dawson Precision. So you've got your front uh, fiber optic Dawson Precision sights. Um, your rear sights are from STI and they're adjustable. So there's a good look at those. Uh, the recoil system, um, which would have to to break down the break down the gun to see the recoil system. So the recoil system, we'd have to break down the gun to see the actual recoil system. Um, it is actually a Dawson 5.4 adaptive toolless recoil system. So that is that is also new to this, um, which is super cool because if you needed to field strip this, all you have to do to field strip it is line up your um, your lock here pop pop the uh, pop the lock out and then the slide comes right off you do not have to have a tool to take your barrel and everything off um, I'll be disassembling this in another video um, also with this one it has the um, the grip is also newer um, the grip is a, a 
The grip is a 2011 G2 full length black with tactical advantage magwell. Magwell also designed by Dawson Precision. Um, but supposedly uh, this is a much better grip than the Edge had. So just give you a kind of an all around look there. All right, the frame is a billet steel. Uh, and of course you also have a accessory rail. So the frame is metal, is all st is stainless steel. And uh, this is polymer here, the, the handle and, and right here where the trigger is. But all of this is, um, is steel. Uh, this one also has a, uh, a tactical rail where you can mount a light or whatever you would like right here, which I think that's awesome. So if you wanna uh, use this gun for more than just, uh, you know, if you, want to, if you want to use this gun for self-defense or something like that, you have a nice, a nice rail that you can mount a light or, or a tactical light or something like that on. All right, so uh, a few of the improvements uh, over the edge that STI was telling me about is, uh, again, the grip. Uh, the grip is supposed to be slightly smaller, so it fits the hand a little bit better. I can tell you just by holding it in my hand, it feels, it feels great, it feels perfect. Um, also, the slide cuts. You've got slide cuts on this one. They're, I think they're a little bit different than the edge was. So you can see the slide cuts there. Again, it's a 5.4 inch barrel versus a five on the edge. So you get 0.4 more inches. And again, we talked about the diamond light carbon uh, versus the blue. So there's a difference and there it is. There is the STI uh, Staccato 2011 XL, um, brand new for 2020. Um, so hope y'all enjoyed this video. Remember to go ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna be putting a lot more videos of me shooting this gun, my impressions and things like that after this one. But I wanted to go ahead and get this unboxing out um, to show y'all this, uh, this amazing gun. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment or if there's something you wanna see me do with this gun, uh, please let me know. Uh, again, I've never owned a gun of this value before and I'm super excited to shoot it and see what it's like. All right, I will see y'all in the next video.